Welcome to Everyday Reviews. In 2017, Genesis launched their brand new G90 flagship sedan, and at that time, man, I was so impressed. A few years later, we had a facelift of G90, and I was even more impressed. Well, the 2023 new generation G90 is right here, and I'm no longer impressed. I'm super impressed, and not just me. This took the top honors of Motor Trend's Car of the Year for 2022, which is no easy feat. Well, let's start off with the price. In Canada, we only get one trim level, and that is the Prestige. It goes for 115,000 Canadian dollars, but that gets everything, including the kitchen sink. The same trim level in the US is 98,700 US dollars, but in the US, you do have an option of a lower trim uh, that we do not get here in Canada. So, styling wise, man, this is the boldest uh, styling design in the lineup for sure. Of course, you have that signature crest grille. It's very, very refined. They've actually layered a couple G Matrix designs on top of each other, and it doesn't just look three dimensional, it is is three-dimensional even the emblem is so much thinner in height now talk about thin check out the two line headlamp design that is the signature Genesis design however what they've done with these headlights they've taken the DRL lens and intercrossed it with the signal lights the headlights use ultra precise technology with micro optic lenses and the result is the thinnest headlamp design that they've produced and not only is it the thinnest it still produces the same amount of light style wise this new g90 has a very bold athletic yet elegant look what do you think of it so far leave a comment below I think that it's just very, very clean. The design is proportional. They've used the clamshell hood design here. So you have no seam up here. Uh, it's all integrated into the hood. You have 21 inch alloys that come standard with the prestige. You have the two light theme going on through the side. And this, the lines are just so sleek on this here. Now, this is one cool part and we're gonna check this out even more is, first of all, we have retractable door handles. Just like that, nice and flush. And we hit that, opens up for both front and rear doors. But when we open it up, this is one of my favorite features, is it has infinite adjustability. We've seen this on the Porsche Panamera and some other very, very premium vehicles. And what's the bonus about it is right now we're on a slope right now. And you know, some other vehicles, you're gonna open the door and it wants to open more because it has that detent. Well, it's not gonna happen here. It's just gonna stay wherever I hold it. Also, really, really cool. This has the easy closed doors. I'm just gonna to touch that and the door closes by itself. How cool is that? We're gonna play around with that a little bit more after. Onto the back. I gotta say, I love this new two light design here. So you have these two horizontal, almost like fiber optic lines, and it's really different for a light bar. The light bars are so popular these days. Uh, that's flanked. In the middle, you have the Genesis letters here. The exhaust pipes are shaped like the Crest grille, so that's a nice styling cue. Open up the power trunk. And here, yeah, it's a large sedan. This does hold quite a bit. This is our travel trunk here to give you an idea of the size of it okay that goes straight in no problem all the way in we can go sideways of course all right but what's interesting we take this out here is if we pull up this floor there is no spare tire what you'll find here though it's a lithium ion polymer, a LiPo battery. That's because this has the E supercharger, which we'll talk about when we're driving. But because of that, there's no spare tire. You do get a tire mobility kit though. So it's the weekend, we're off to grandma's. So I'm gonna pick up the kids and we go. All right, one of our favorite features for sure on this car, everyone, three, two, one. The easy closed doors. Of 
course, the inside is completely restyled. Uh, one big thing, big fan of the rear. Well, I'm not because I don't get to enjoy it, but the kids back there, girls, are you enjoying this vehicle? <laughs> they're, they're yawning because it's so, so comfortable. Uh, <laughs> on the passenger side in the rear, it reclines so much with an ottoman and they have an eight inch digital display back there that's that's all the where the beeping's coming from because I think they, get, they got way too much control <laughs> because, there, man. because they have almost full control they can move the front passenger seat <laughs> <laughs> they have uh, control of the audio system. They have uh, heated and ventilated seats in the rear. Of course, we have those in the front. And we also have massage feature in the front as well. Of course, the inside is spectacular. And that's no different than when the G90 was introduced back in 2017. Super luxurious. We have Napa leather everywhere. We have suede for the headliner. We even have like ultra thick pile carpet you know, on this vehicle. Twin 12.3 inch screens, and they have this kind of like this, this wing shape, you know, the whole theme of Genesis is the wing. And so you have these two uh, sweeping borders around the screen there. Cynthia, what do you think of the, the interior here? Really luxury. The color combination looks really good as well. And uh, I think those wings might be also good for blaking the sun. Yeah, yeah, good, good for shielding the sun. Uh, yeah, material-wise, not only is there leather, on the door panels even, this material here is actually wood, kind of, they call it a wood, but it's made from recycled newspapers. So that is the direction that Genesis is going. Not only, you do get real wood, uh, but also they, they really want to be as sustainable as possible. So they, that's a really cool use, but I like the texture of it. It's really nice. And of course, this has a spectacular Bang & Olufsen sound system. Uh, we're not gonna put it on right now, but yeah, heated steering wheel, two uh, sunroofs, and they can be operated independently as well. We have power uh, side shades, power rear sunshade. Yeah, this is, it's 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 so uber luxury. Uber luxury. Uber. I I wouldn't mind being in this if I ordered an Uber for sure. <laughs> Way too too much control back there. <laughs> too much. <laughs> All right, let's see what this baby's got. <laughs> Woo. Lots and lots of pickup and go. So under the hood, we have a three and a half liter twin turbo V6 puts out. 409 horsepower and 405 pound-feet of torque. This has their e-supercharger, it's called, and that's just their, their branding. Essentially, it's the same as the mild, 48-volt mild hybrid system. It has, a, has an electric motor that assists you to, to get yourself going. It's like a, like a large starter motor, um, but yeah, it makes a big difference. If you're in the U.S. and you get the, that, that lower trim level, you do not get that 48-volt system, and you get a little bit less horsepower, but lots and lots Lots of performance here. Uh, that's matched to an eight-speed automatic transmission and multi-chamber air ride suspension. Just feel how like smooth. It just isolates you from all the harshness in the world, right? Like, is it quiet in here? It's really quiet. It's really, really quiet. Let's just let's put it on their highway driving assistant right now. And uh, look at that. no hands. All right. The massage it, chair. And the massage chair, okay. Let's put the massage chair on. Oops. Uh, okay, all right. This is a way to cruise. Guaranteed, I would not hesitate to drive this vehicle across the country. No worries at all. It is just, it's so easy. It's so quiet, it isolates you, but you still have that little bit of a growl and it does perform, it's just, it's just really good at being elegant and sophisticated. It's just everything about it. It's not just, you know, the materials or the looks. It's a combination of everything that makes this luxury, in my opinion. And, and Genesis has been doing this from day one when they introduced their flagship G90. And they've just elevated this vehicle so much. And I really have said this before, you know, if 
the other competitors in this class, you know, if they're not looking or haven't been looking in their rear view mirror for Genesis coming up behind them, it may be too late because they are doing so many good things, for instance, with this flagship sedan, with some of their concepts. You know, of course, some of them might not come into production, but just the fact that they can show what they're capable of is what's so impressive with this brand for sure. If there's any criticism of this vehicle, I would say there'd be two small things. Number one, uh, we have the heated and ventilated and massaging seats. However, the door panels or the middle console areas are not heated. And in some other competitors, they are, and it kind of makes a difference. It just completes the package. And also with this infotainment system, it's got lots of great ambient lighting and features and sounds, uh, but it does not have wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You still have to plug it in. It does use USB-C, but it's still not wireless. However, as I've said in our previous videos now, um, if you want wireless CarPlay or Android Auto in your wired vehicle, there are options out there. We did a, a full review on the AutoCast system. Check that out, I'll leave a link below. And it's just, once you have it, it's hard to go back to. You just, it just makes any wired CarPlay or Android system wireless. And if you even want more, there is a product called the Picasso 2 from AutoCast, which we will have a review coming up very soon. And not only can you pair Apple Car, Apple phones and Android phones to it wirelessly, but it includes the entire uh, Google Play Store, so you can even, you shouldn't do it while you're driving, but you can watch your Netflix, your Disney Channel, your YouTube, you can check your emails, you have a full browser, everything, it's got a, it's basically a computer in a little disc, and it even has a SIM card holder so you can put your own plan into it. So a lot of you are wondering, what's a fuel mileage like, especially on a full-size luxury sled like this? Well, uh, we are, right now, we are driving at a hundred and six kilometers per hour we are on the highway but um basically in the last couple of days we're averaging 13.7 liters per 100k real life it's real life mm -hmm. it's pretty decent for for this size uh would it be nice if they had a plug-in hybrid yeah absolutely oh, yeah. but that would add a lot of weight and more complexity i'd rather you know i'm, I'm good with compromising and getting more luxury features for that so Anyways, that's it for our review today. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check all the links below if you're interested in this vehicle, our other videos, and that AutoCast wireless system that we we're talking about. Uh, we'll see you on the next Everyday Review. Ciao!